2024 marks the 80th anniversary of the year that was truly the turning point in our road to victory in the Second World War. Those who fought in those epic battles epitomized the spirit of what is so rightly called America's greatest generation. With us this evening is U.S. Navy D-Day veteran Jim Barron. Representing, yeah, representing all those who served during the Second World War in Europe and the Pacific. Mr. Barron, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Father. And I want to wish a happy anniversary day to, to the people of America. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jim. Appreciate you. And while the war was raging overseas, there were so many patriotic Americans serving here at home doing the vital work that supported our military effort. This iconic image is Rosie the Riveter, who represented the millions of women working in factories and shipyards producing munitions and needed supplies. My wife's grandmother, Louise Unkrich, was one of those Rosie the Riveters. May she rest in peace. Joining us tonight and representing all the women who served our nation during the, those years is one of the original Rosie the Riveters, a woman who built B-17s and B-29s, Mae Cryer. Uh, yes, now Mae, you recently received quite an honor, the Congressional Gold Medal. Yes, sir. That was outstanding. It was such an honor for me to accept that gold medal for all of the millions of Rosies and women in our country who helped save our state and they helped save our country, and they helped save the world. And we're just so proud we've gone down in history. And women, we love you women. We hope you've helped. We hope you've helped. Yes. We thank you, May. Thank you so much. And we love the young girls, too. They're our future. Absolutely. Thank you for all the women, all the ladies who did it all. Uh, so great. Thank you, May.